Good evening, friends. Stephen Benoon with Israeli News Live. We have breaking news coming out of the Middle East. They're right on the border of Iraq and Syria. Yet another uh, Iranian official, this time an Iranian Revolutionary Guard commander, targeted by a drone. Uh, no doubt Israel, once again, United States, who knows? Both these countries are preparing for a war with Iran and uh, we know that, as I mentioned on Fact News Network just moments ago in another breaking news story there, that the United States President, uh, President Donald Trump, is at Camp David. He's been there for about a week meeting with his generals there. He's done a shakeup at the Pentagon. They are getting ready to go to war with Iran. Mossad uh, intel that we've been getting in as well. Iran and Israel are going to go to blows very shortly. They're preparing. Now we have our good friend, Israeli journalist, sending uh, information that Hezbollah is basically running for the hills, knowing as, they, as they're uh, leaving their post in, in the Lebanon Valley, knowing that Iran has made the decision to strike. And uh, seeing this here, another one of their officials being shot and killed, Iran has already said they would not tolerate any more hit and runs. It says here, an airstrike killed a commander of the Iran's Revolutionary Guard at the Iraq-Syria border sometime between Saturday and Sunday. Iraqi security and local uh, militia officials said on Monday they could not confirm the identity of the commander, who they said was killed alongside three other men traveling in a vehicle with him. The vehicle was carrying weapons across the Iraqi border and was hit after it it had entered Syrian territory. Two Iraqi security officials separately said uh, Iran-backed Iraqi parliamentary groups helped retrieve the bodies, the two officials said, without elaborating or giving the exact time of the incident. Local military and militia sources confirmed the account, although Reuters was unable to verify independently that an Iranian commander had been killed. Uh, anyway, I'm Steve Benoon. You're listening to Israeli News Live. Please do support the broadcast. Visit our website, IsraeliNewsLive.org. We thank you kindly.